It's really very varied, actually. Our master's programmes, because of the, the way that our master's programmes are created, um, they're research-led programmes um, taught by people who have real expertise in the subject. And, um, you know, the teaching is, is all oriented um, that way. And so we give people real deep expertise in the subject. Um, and then they, they have a, a project across the summer um, where they put that expertise um, into, um, into action um, in a significant piece of work. Um, that is good preparation for um, leadership roles um, in, in industry. Um, we uh, invariably have people go and take up um, PhD places um, as well. We like to encourage people to do that. Um, but you know, the career, the mixture of careers is extremely varied. It really depends on the master's course that people have done, um, where they are likely to end up. Um, but um, we have very, very high employment rates um, for our students. Um, and um, as I say, we prepare students um, for, for good jobs. So I can talk about the experience with jobs on the software systems engineering course. So in particular, in this course, we have very, very strong connections to industry. Um, not just um, through collaborations, but also through exchange of personnel. And I know that it's on different programs are uh, very similar. So, so for example, uh, we have joined uh, professorships uh, with Facebook um, and um, Zulke software here in London is um, headed by one of our software professors. And for that, I have a very nice example of where our students are ending up. I mean, they're ending up at all the, the known companies. They all want to go to the large uh, um, Amazon, Google, Facebook, or at uh, all those startups that are in London. So, I mean, there are uh, so many startups that are uh, interested in, in those uh, software engineers. But the uh, one example that I want to give um, is a student from, uh, I think, two years ago uh, who went to Zulke and was basically part of the team who developed the uh, UK's COVID app. And we had a very nice demonstration on that. So directly from the MSc was um, thrown into the water of that kind of large scale uh, project at the um, well at the heart of uh, how the UK dealt uh, with COVID. Hi, I'm the program director for the Information Security Master. For that particular program is similar as with software engineering. Like many of our uh, graduates, they uh, they go to traditional companies as as Jens also mentioned, like Amazon, Google, Facebook, KPMG, Ernst and Young, and so forth. Um, but there are also others who join or start their own startups and, and work there, right? So, and some of the uh, jobs that people are doing are, for example, they become expert security analysts, right? And so they, they help find bugs in, in running systems and help them fix them, or they become uh, secure software developers or other, other areas that's been uh, very interested by many of our uh, graduates are in, in, for example, the, the cryptocurrency space. Many, many go on and, and become developers there, right? And help writing the next smart contracting platforms or the back end of uh, some of these blockchain systems and, and cryptocurrency networks. Yeah, so it's overall, it's, it's, it's still very, uh, a very like broad field that our, that our graduates uh, are covering. I'm the program director of um, data science and machine learning, but we run a number of AI related programs. So we've got the MSc in machine learning, data science and machine and computational statistics and machine learning, and a couple of new programs that are starting for next year. So artificial intelligence, the sustainable development for healthcare. Um, and the applicants to these programs display quite a wide variety of backgrounds um, and a wide variety of experience. So you've got some folks who are on those programs as career changers, 
some programs, some folks are on those programs as career augmenters. So they want to go back to the industry they started in, but with some data science slash machine learning skills. And you've also got a, a large contingent who come straight off undergraduate programs. Um, so what that means is there's a wide variety of career paths um, that all of these different students might follow after the degree program. So I'll just give some examples given that of, of industries that students have gone to recently. So all the traditional industries that have been mentioned already that now almost invariably have some kind of data science or machine learning department. So our students have gone into those kinds of roles. Um, they've gone into AI startups as machine learning experts. They've formed their own AI startups. Um, and then finance as well, we feed a lot into finance. Um, so hedge funds and banks have hired our folks for a variety of ro roles um, that are more or less machine learning related and of more or less seniority, depending on um, where the student ultimately came from before they came along to our program. 